So this match review comes to us from Irish Pumpkin, who is a frequent submitter to the match reviews. We have four or five under our belts now, uh, four or five under our belts now. Um, you mostly focus on rush killers, although you take a break here and there. Um, you have 1.9k hours in the game of Dead by Daylight, so you're almost twice the hours I expect most people to be at least moderately competent in their uh, macro and micro knowledge in the game of Dead by Daylight. They got their fundamentals down. Um, you are playing Blight, who is, despite nerfs, retains his position as one of the better top three, top five characters in the game. Very, very strong, very, very good. Um, you're on Printed Abattoir, Printed Abattoir, which is the best core map for killers, so that's going in your favor, at least, especially as a character as strong as Blight. Let's go ahead and take a look at your add-ons and your perks. Why is it purple? Because they're using filters. Okay, so looking at your add-ons and your perks, you're doing, uh, you're still using the, the speed add-ons for Blight, which are still good, less good, but still good. Um, you are using the, uh, the aura reading uh, compound uh, add-on, so that's fine. Uh, your build is kind of on the weak side, um, which is, I, I'm happy to see. I'm happy to see, because I remember we had a conversation last time uh, for your night review, talking about running quad slowdown and kind of like inviting sweaty games by constantly pumping your MMR by running a lot of slowdowns. So I'm very happy to see this. Uh, Grim and Pop, I like those choices. Uh, Enduring is kind of a nice quality of life perk on, on Blight, because a lot of times you'll be just barely swinging through the pallet and just barely getting hit. Um, Lethal by itself is kind of an odd choice because that, while that lethal's nice, when it's by itself, it just becomes a dead perk slot after a certain point. Um, and I'm not a huge fan of like dead perk slots. Um, there's Grim, but like Grim only goes like, the, yeah, yeah, but like you have to hook all four people. Oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah, you're right. Compound 21. I'm an idiot. Ignore me. Ignore me. Redo. You're right. Compound 21. I just said that too. I just said that. I. I need to get more sleep. <laughs> yeah, compound 21. You're fine. You're good, actually. I, I withdraw everything. Um, yeah, lethal makes sense here uh, because of compound 21, because you're doing an add-on synergy with it. Um, there is some with Grim Embrace, but I wish I could see another perk here. Uh, you're already running pop, and you're already playing Blight. Why don't you slap on Eruption? You get that extra ump for it down, that extra 10%. You get worried if somebody's on it. Lethal would, would increase it. Might be fun to try. That'd be fun to try. Yeah, let's take a look at the game. Eruption, especially on a character like Blight who has high, like Eruption and Pop are got massively nerfed, but um, they're still pretty all right on characters that like have high mobility because they can get to the gens they need to get value. I think it was really loud, now it's really quiet. Fuck. Yeah. As much as New Blight's um, collision is very nice and makes it more accessible, it also can be really frustrating too. Hey, what's up, Duke? Duke, how's it going? And thanks for the raid earlier. I I I, I think I like fell asleep while I was playing or something. I I don't remember it at all. So. Okay, so here's the thing, um, and I just want to say this just for, like, uh, posterity's sake. I, the, the Irish feels, like, Irish is really good at the game. I will say that. that I've not, I, I don't think I, I say that a lot. I don't give a lot of, like, big praise when I play, um, when I do these match reviews, because, like, a lot of people will start submitting match reviews just to Ego and be like, tell me I'm good. But, like, Irish is really good. Irish is really good. Um, and I think, uh... Like, like, whenever there's any sort of clips or anything I see of them, they're always, like, really nice to anybody that shows up. So, like, I, I feel like it's one of those things that, like, I feel like people in the Dead Daylight community, like, anybody who gets even slightly salty or frustrated at something in the moment, they're like, oh, wow, gosh, they're, 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 they're toxic or cringe. Like, no, no, like, some people are just passionate about the game. Passionate about the game. Um, and that's totally fine, especially if you love this game and you stream this game a lot. It's okay to be passionate about the game. So, I don't know, I just kind of want to throw that out there, because, like, especially when we get people that, like, send in multiple reviews for, like, a long time, people start to, like, kind of, like, pick apart their personality and stuff, and it's just, like, I just kind of want to be like, no, they're a good player, and they just feel passionately about the game, so. And I, you know, I hope they continue to submit match reviews, so they can continue to improve over time. Appreciate it. The filter's really weird, but I do like the vibrant green on the cane, though. That is very cool. 
Yeah, that is kind of the only problem about running pop and grim together is that like, they do kind of slight anti-synergy because you may want to pop a gen, but then it's blocked. Oh, nice. I do like the idea to just go back here, just break up the heal. They did that like right next to you, so like that's not on you to ignore it. They should have waited till you were further away. Yeah, but say it doesn't really matter who you go for. As long as you know where she is. I don't know, it's kinda hard for me to see to be honest, because I don't I'm not used to these filters. Yeah, if you didn't know where she was exactly, you should have stayed on Steve. Nice. Great hit. Great hit. I feel like the first match where you sent to me was a white match on uh on Rancid too. It's kinda funny. I don't think you used these filters back then though. I feel like nice. I would remember the grape sickle, to be honest. Be back for round two. They're also doing these gens really fast. But here we're not wasting a lot of time, but they are getting the the gens done rather quickly. Uh fun fact. Uh, you can slide off that thing over there, the, I'm pretty sure, the, uh, haystack. At least you can on every character that collision is sensitive to. I don't know if Blight can. It might be worth trying. I'm not a huge Blight person. I had, like, sort of a Blight phase before Xeomorph came out, because I kind of played most of the roster, kind of, like, looking for, like, my next big thing. And luckily, Xeomorph came out and kind of answered it, but... Grape Kool-Aid filter? I think it's one of those things where it's like, it's something I don't understand, but like, it probably makes sense to, nice hit. It, it probably makes sense to. Nice, that was a nice It's probably something I just yeah. don't know about that makes it good, right? That I'm just not informed about. Suck his Blight E. A lot of people have to relearn Blight because he plays like completely differently, right? Not completely differently, but like, essentially like everything is bump. Everything is bump. So you don't get to do any of this like super cool side stuff. If you want side stuff, you gotta play Chucky. <laughs> you gotta play Chucky. Oh. That's why, like... And you would know more about Blight than me, probably, but... Like, that's why lunging with Blight is risky. It's like, you may just end up swinging past them. It's the same way with Oni, too. Like, Oni, sometimes you don't want to go for a long lunge, because they'll just, like, slide past you like that. Why can I hear him? I think he has whatever. Uh, iron, whatever. Iron Wolf. I roll off the record. Now, I feel like there's a little bit of anti synergy with your Grim happening right now. Grim and Pop. Like, you're not getting to deliver Pop to gens that you would want to. Okay, you found him, thankfully. I feel like... Correct me if I'm wrong, doesn't it feel like Compound 21 is worse? Because of the, the Blight Nurse? Well, not. Yeah, they are an objective nurse, yeah. But it's like... Because, like, a lot of what would happen with Compound 21 previously is you would bump, see somebody on the other side, and then you would slide over and hit them. But now, like, if you hit, see them on the other side of something, it doesn't matter. You know? That's why your enduring is nice on Blight, because if you go for, like, a rush and you, like, life brain, that was life brain right there, and you miss it, like, last second, like, you just get stunned and you just go right back to what you were doing. I think you... Iron will. Yeah. You're ping-ponging between Steve and, uh... Sable right now, I would keep focusing on them. If you see other people, I would not worry about them too much, because at this point, despite the fact that we're at three gens, you're about to be at, like, two or one gens, because this gen is looking like 60, 70, and the other, there's another gen probably being worked on somewhere out there, so realistically, you're closer to one gen. Um, so I would start making sure that you focus one of these people out of the game. Probably need Sable here. Yeah. Especially if she's gonna hop on the gen in your face like that? Yeah. Nice. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's still a really good add-on, absolutely. Ooh, weird. Um, I'm just saying that it's like, you know, perhaps there is a little bit, a little bit less going on in terms of efficiency because you can't just slide around and hit them right away. That's just the character across the board. So she's dead. Steve should be your next focus. Then I get four added. Yeah, you got to think about how how much gen progress is on the map and not what that number says. See, one gen. <laughs> Emerald calling you out. <laughs> also, hopefully you're doing well today, friend. Hope you have a wonderful Monday. <laughs> Yeah, this is a toned down version too. I'm using I'm using a filter on the display capture to make it not as bright. It's even rougher over here for me. <laughs> Barney filter, that's strong. Hey, pocket candy. Have we even seen this, Felix? He's like not even here. I would yeah, say I'm Steve here. Especially, especially Sam Steve here. I think that, yeah. Wow, he got that. That's crazy. Where did he end up? Oh, here he is. Why are you just Eyes be gone? Okay. <laughs> this, this, is, this is, this and the macaroni blight, which is also on Cold One, which is interesting. These are the worst ones. <laughs> Somebody in the mac and cheese game? I don't remember. I think it's somebody that's not with the community anymore because they were uh, really rude. But I could be wrong. I don't think I'm back in like. Honestly, you didn't play bad. I feel like you're going for like really long lunges. And a lot of people are just like sliding past you as well. But the efficiency is really minor. Like really, this is kind of almost like a like a non-match review. Because like your mistakes are so like, these guys are doing the gens really quickly. And most of your mistakes you're making are relatively minor. You're using a uh, compound to try and find people right now? Anyone? Going to YouTube? I think it did. It's one of the earlier ones. It's one of the very early match reviews. It's a Birkin Blight. Yes, true, true. Yeah, see, like, here? Oh, what? you got robbed. Bro, I hate that glitch. It like, just that's so cringe. Why is that a glitch? It just prioritizes the palette over... It happens to Billy and Bubba, too. It's really lame. And sometimes demo. Sometimes, just, like, if your character has the ability... Two glitches in a row. <laughs> like, why does it prefer to destroy the palette? Yeah. It's just really lame. That's not your fault. That happens with any character that has, like, a palette breaking uh, power. The screen color? Hey, your popsicle. Crazy. Oh, no, yeah, it's pretty rough. Yeah, you played really well. Most of the things I'm going to recommend are going to be really minor. Which is good. Really good to see. Why is it still purple? It's just their filters. <laughs> hey, no, Bob. How are you? Over here, Monday is great. <laughs> I do want to know. I do know you watch these. Sometimes you watch the lot. Sometimes you watch the YouTube. I do want to know what's the purple about. <laughs> Because if it's if there's actually like something about it that makes it better that isn't just like he he ha ha like I would I do want to know. Oh my phone broke. <laughs> oh, you're making me nauseous. Oh. He may go off. Oh, like... Thank you, Mr. Blight. Oh, oh, yeah. Honestly, in terms of uh, here we, we can make it better here because this screen is not as bad. Just delete that. Yeah, I was just really bad at the cold wind. All right, in terms of your main takeaways, honestly, I'm not saying this to, to like, you know, glaze you up or anything, but like, it mostly played great. Um, Yeah, there was specialist in here, prove. This is why saying the perks is important because I feel like they just did the gens fast because they had, like, that somebody was getting the specialist, somebody was getting the prove value and resilience, and they were just, you know, it was just the gens were going kind of quick, and when you have uh, Pop Grim, which is a fairly tame slowdown combo, 
it's just like there's their gen rush is better than your gen slowdown um so it, that's why the match was close if if they if, if you were bringing a stronger um like you were doing pop pain res or pop eruption this match would have been over at like three gens <laughs> because you would have been able to match their energy here uh that they brought um so like honestly um in terms of your main takeaways uh there was just some minor stuff like Op and Grim kind of somewhat anti-synergy, and I'm sure you were realizing that mid-game, which was like, wow, I want to pop this gen, but it's blocked. <laughs> which was kind of like a, hmm. Mm. <laughs> so, um, not the worst thing in the world, but it is like a slight inefficiency thing. Oh, you brought yourself to Colin. Okay, so you did this on purpose. I just noticed that. Um, also, you were going for some really like wild lunges. I'm sure you know better than I do, but with Blight, often or any rush killer, it's often better to like kind of like get closer to them before swinging, because uh, you'll end up in a lot of situations like that where you go like flying past them and it's really frustrating. Um, and that happened quite a few times this match. Uh, that could have been easy downs, but like otherwise, you did fine. Uh, you had some good flicks. You prioritized the right people to get out of the game. You were ping ponging back and forth between Sable and. Um, uh steve and now i remember that was something that you just had uh, issues with with uh, your night game which was like having trouble prioritizing who you should go after so seeing you just very like sternly pick okay i'm i'm focusing these two and i'm not going to get distracted really benefited you a lot so it's good to see that improve um yeah that's literally it like you don't even get a third takeaway because like otherwise you just play fine like you played well and honestly if you had had um just like one better slowdown it wouldn't have even been an issue <laughs> like it, the game would even have been close um so yeah it's this mostly boiled down to them just ha like also bringing a really really good gen perks as well there's also a deja vu on there too as well i just noticed that down there too so yeah there's just a lot of gen perks in the game and yeah otherwise yeah this wouldn't have been close so good job